Hello and welcome to Instalibre. Today we're taking a look at KDE Neon. Installation media dated February 9th, 2017 and featuring Plasma Desktop version 5.9.1, running on top of Ubuntu LTS version 16.04. Booting the ISO brings us to the live environment, from which we shall execute the installer. The installation process is very similar to other Ubuntu flavors. The same options and questions are being presented. We're given an option to use guided or manual partitioning, manual partitioning being similar to other Ubuntu versions. For the sake of this video, I will use guided LVM partitioning. Next, we're given the option to select our region and time zone, as well as the keyboard layout. The next screen allows us to enter our name, username, password, as well as the host name, as well as the option to select whether password is required to log in and an option to encrypt the home folder. One major difference of this version of the installer is that the installation starts before we complete entering all the details, which saves on the installation time somewhat. The installation finished very promptly with no issues whatsoever. Upon restarting, we log into the Plasma Desktop version 5.9. First thing I notice is there are updates available, 305 packages to be exact. Let's go ahead and update them with the built-in Update Manager. While it's updating, let's take a look at the system settings. As you would expect, Plasma Desktop is very customizable. Here we can see that the Breeze Dark theme is available. As in previous versions of KDE, lots of customization options are available, both visual and off the system itself. The updates have been installed. Let's take a look at what applications are available in this installation. Kit 5 Assistant and Designer Applications, Ocular and Gwen View for Images and Documents, Firefox Web Browser, VLC Media Player, Ocular once again, the System Settings application. Dolphin File Manager, Software Center, and the typical KDE, Task Manager, and Terminal Applications. In the Utilities folder, we can see that ARC is available as the Archiving Tool, Spectacle Screenshot Utility, as well as KWrite and Vim for text editors. Let's take a look at the Software Center. Stretched out icons are not very appealing. Other than that, it looks to be pretty solid. For the sake of this video, let's go ahead and install Thunderbird Mail. The installation only takes a few moments and it's installed. Let's take a look in the applications. And unfortunately, it's not there. Let's open the terminal. And yes, it's definitely installed. For some reason, menu did not get updated right away. And right now it's there, however, there is no icon. As usual, you can use the terminal to install all applications, which is what I'm used to doing anyway. KDE Neon is a distribution for those who want to have the latest and greatest KDE Plasma 5 desktop on top of a stable Ubuntu 16.04 LTS base. As the cow says, subscribe to Install Every Channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.